I believe pitching coach Dave Island was just ejected from the game. And now Ned Yost has been ejected from the game. Don't see heated arguments like that anymore. And Ned, he's sticking up for his players. Tempers flaring early in this one, the rubber game. Okay, Greg Gibson, he told Ned not to come out, not to come out. We got it all covered, but Ned kept coming. And he threw him, and that's going to be an early shower for Ned. He'll get an ovation from the home crowd. So that's why Ned Yost makes the trip to the mound. Nobody's warming up. Uh oh, here comes Kerwin. Uh oh. Second time Ned's been tossed this year. And whenever the home plate umpire goes to the mound and the manager goes out there, you know something could be said that could get you ran. And that's what happened. So what Ned's doing is he's sticking up for Guthrie. See, and that's he's and he's not happy. He's 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 venting on Danley. He's not yelling at Guthrie. And how about that? A bases loaded bunt. For Salazar. Hosmer. Hosmer doesn't agree with it. And now Hosmer gets tossed. Here comes Ned Yost out right now. That was a quick ejection. Well, my amateur lip reading, I saw the magic word from Eric Hosmer, and that's you. You can criticize a call. And now Ned want. Yost gets tossed. The minute you personalize a complaint to an umpire and use that pronoun, that's when you're going to get wrong. So Eric Hosmer, who's had these great numbers against Salazar, strikes out on a questionable check swing. Gets rung up by David Rackley. Did just that. Well, you rarely see a right hand pitcher even attempt a pickoff at third. We see it all the time with a lefty to first base, and I don't know if I've ever seen a balk call on a right hand pitcher. And James Shields has to be very careful here. He is pointing to the mouth. And Ned's going to watch this one from the showers. He just got tossed. Paul Emmel, obviously home plate umpire, having a, a short fuse this afternoon. I guess they were saying that James Shields was coming home and, and didn't make a deliberate effort to throw the ball to third base. Like he was coming home first. And Ned is going to get his money's worth here in the first. You know, that might be good strategy by Ned. And then his helmet toward home plate umpire Rob Drake. Ned Yelts is going to argue that the bat toss thought that it was because of ball four, not that he was showing up the umpire. Remember we told you earlier that this umpire Rob Drake was the one that was involved in the argument with Yadier Molina in Milwaukee which resulted in a five game suspension. So Rob Drake's probably had enough of this. Well, you, you know what Ned's arguing is that Alex thought it was ball four. And that's why he flipped the bat, although it was a long flip. It went almost all the way to the dugout. Gary Darling is the crew chief. 
And he's going to get a word or two from Ned. Ball to strike. But now, well, Kendall may have not looked startled, but he's a veteran, so he knows how to communicate with the umpire without anyone else knowing about it. And Ned Yost is ejected for the first time as Royals manager. You know, I don't blame Ned because from our point of view, Frank, it appears that Kendall didn't do anything, at least anything that was visible, that he was unhappy with the call. So you really don't know there's a confrontation until Mike Easterbrook decides to take his mask off and crouch in front of Jason Kendall and let everyone know there's a problem. I agree. That's totally the umpire for error right there. The Kendall should be allowed to ask for pitches, and he should be allowed to ask where this pitch is. And umpires usually will talk from behind, but when you walk around and get in front like he did to Jason Kendall, then that's going to always bring the manager out. And that's always going to tell the umpire, hey, you're wrong. Two down. That moves is saying, hey, look, that last time, you know, the ball hit the ground. Now Ned's having that one. Seeing some frustration here. Probably wants to know why he got thrown out as quickly as he did. I read Ned's lips. He said that wasn't even close to being a strike, and you know it. 